Milena, the Tarkatan and Ethnian hybrid of Mortal Kombat. And Bowser Jr., the Prince of the Kutbis. Evil empires need great leaders, but when that leader is gone, they need an heir. And that responsibility traditionally goes to the child of the Emperor. So which evil heir is the deadliest? We will see as only one of them can survive in the arena of death. After Shao Kahn conquered the land of Ednia, he took the former ruler's daughter, Kitana, as his own, and she became an amazing fighter. But Shao had his doubts about her loyalty, so he had the sorcerer Shang Tsung create an evil clone. And her name, was Milena. Milena is a hybrid of Ednian and Tarkatan DNA. She has the strength of a four-armed creature known as Shokan. She also has incredible agility, and has the ability to teleport. Her weapons of choice are her twin size. She can also use these weapons for a projectile attack by throwing them at her opponents. And terrifyingly, she is highly cannibalistic. She has extremely sharp teeth, which she uses to attack or eat her foes. If you think that's scary, she can even turn invisible. Milena also has a rolling attack called Rolling Thunder. It's kinda similar to Sonic's Spin Dash. And Milena is always ready to finish her opponents off with a bloody fatality. She doesn't have the best track record when it comes to victories, but she was able to survive an explosion that is worth 3.4 tons of TNT. She even managed to steal Shinnok's amulet, and lead a large army. Although, she isn't perfect. She doesn't have as many years of experience as other fighters, due to being a clone. She may be an adult physically, but mathematically, she's a child. Experience hasn't been the best for her, even though Milena was created with battle knowledge. Overall, Milena is a vicious clone of Kitana with lots of raw power. But she lacks natural experience. Come closer. You can look, but you can't touch. I will show you what I can do. After losing to Mario countless times, and all his plans failing, Bowser decided he needed some help. So he chose to have his son assist him with his plans. Born under the Koopa King, Bowser Jr. is Bowser's only biological kid. At first, Bowser led him to believe that Princess Peach was his mother and Mario was the bad guy, but Jr. eventually figured out the truth. And surprisingly, he didn't really care, he just wanted to fight Mario again. Jr. takes a lot of abilities from his father, like his fire breath. It isn't quite as powerful, but still pretty strong. He also has an attack called the Sonic Roar, a scream so loud that it shrinks whoever gets caught in the sound waves. Junior also has a wide variety of weapons in his arsenal. His two most notable are his Magic Paint Brush and Koopa Clown Car. The Magic Brush is able to create paint puddles that can electrocute his enemies, or he can use them to teleport. He can also use the brush to turn into Shadow Mario. His Koopa Clown Car is able to fly and even drive like a real car. Unlike a real car though, it is filled with tons of weapons, ranging from bombs, wrecking balls, saw blades, forks, and can even grow arms with boxing gloves. Junior could also use a spin attack while in his shell. There are tons of machines for Junior to use, but he also has a dark form called Wonder Bowser Junior. In this form, he can manipulate the area around him, and his jaw becomes similar to a bear trap. Bowser Jr. isn't perfect though. He's pretty cocky and arrogant. But that never stops him from trying. Overall, while Bowser Jr. may be young, he is skilled in using his huge arsenal to take advantage of his foes. He can be cocky at times, but his tools and how he uses them make him extremely dangerous. Alright. Let's get ready for combat. This battle will take place in a dark fortress, and there is no prep time. With that being said, it's time to find out who will survive in the arena of death. I will take back what is mine. Oh, 
that you will die! My blade will drink your blood. Go make a nice snack. <laughs> Guess Outworld doesn't have a future ruler anymore. Melina definitely put up a good fight. But Bowser Jr. was just too much for her. Melina was technically older than Jr., making her more experienced. However, Jr.'s abilities blew Milena's out of the water. It's true that Melina is strong enough to shatter Diamond, but Bowser Jr. is pretty strong himself, being able to lift a 15-meter Drago Neal, which should weigh around 27,000 pounds. Melina was certainly more vicious, and could get the jump on Jr. using teleportation, but Jr. has methods of teleportation too. Plus, Bowser Jr. had far too much weaponry. With these weapons, he had far more options to take down Melina. It also doesn't help that Bowser Jr. survived being in the center of a supernova. The durability advantage was pretty clear. While it is true that Bowser Jr. is pretty reckless sometimes, Melina is actually quite childish herself, not to mention psychotic. So while Melina did have a few circumstances where she could win, Bowser Jr's superior abilities, durability, and overwhelming arsenal give him the win more times than not. That battle was a royal pain. The winner is Bowser Jr.